going to be the ultimate performance guide for Fortnite in Season 4. I'm not only about to show you all of the best registry tweaks which every single one of you should apply on their PC, and on top of that the game is gonna feel super responsive and you're literally gonna have the lowest ping available in your region. In the first place now guys, I'm going to show you a super simple tweak which you can enable in your registry editor itself guys to put a Fortnite permanently on high priority mode which is gonna increase your FPS. All you guys gotta do in the first place, go to your window search bar, type in the registry editor, right click onto it and run it as administrator until this window here actually opens up. The next step guys, I want you to head to HK local machine, then you're gonna go down a little bit more until you can find software. In here you're going to find Microsoft, open it up again and scroll all the way down guys until we can actually see here now Windows NT. Once we're in here we're going to open up as well current version and in here now we're going to scroll down even more until we can find image file execution option. And now let's start with the main tweak part. All you guys can do is right click onto it, go under new and make sure to create a new key. This one you're going to name exactly Fortnite.exe. This is exactly how Fortnite is called in the task manager so therefore it's super important that you copy it one to one guys. Fortnite.exe. Once we're in here now we're going to open it up, right click onto it and go again under new and key and this time we're going to name it perf options. Just exactly like right now you're on screen. Make sure that you copy everything guys. And now in here it should now be actually empty. And once you're down here now under perf options you're gonna make sure to select it, right click in here, go under new and then divert 32 value. This one you're going to select and you're going to name it CPU priority class. Just make sure to copy it exactly like here guys as shown and once you get it in here you're going to double click onto it then you're just gonna make sure to put the value data to free and keep it on hexadecimal and click OK. So guys and in this next step we're directly going to apply the next one which is as well under Windows NT. It's exactly the same path guys so therefore just simply make sure that you go back to it then you can see current version open it up again and then we're gonna scroll down all the way until we can find multimedia and in here we have system profile. What you want to do is then here look over to system responsiveness guys there we have it the registry entry double click onto it and this one we're gonna make sure to put all the way to 16 and keep it still on hexadecimal and this is all gonna improve your system responsiveness resulting in less input delay and better performance while playing Fortnite. And now once you're done with it you're also additionally going to open up your know system profile guys and then as well task which is in here as well until you can find a folder which is gonna be called games and in here now we can see a bunch of options related to our GPU of our PC and there we have as well GPU priority. You're gonna open this one up as well and then you can see the GPU priority value data is set to 8 but we actually want to set it all the way down to 6. So make sure to keep it on hexadecimal and click under OK. Now we can already close our registry and make sure to reset our PC real quick. And next up guys we're gonna need process lesser. You can by the way get everything from my official website or the discord you can decide for yourself guys and once we had it launched guys we have to first of all click under main and make sure that manage all processes for all users is actually checked. The next up guys we're gonna go over to active power profile and here we actually want to select the bitsum highest performance one guys. This is super important. This tool can basically manage your whole entire CPU with all of the cores and the bitsum highest performance one is the best for gaming. Then you're gonna go under main again and make sure that performance mode is actually enabled. Now guys for the extra steps we're gonna click here under options in the first place then we're gonna go under general and in here now we first of all have refresh interval GUI and this one we're actually gonna put from one second which is the default one for all people to five seconds. Then we're also gonna go back here to refresh interval governor and this one you as well going to put to five seconds guys. Then once we're done with that we're going to actually launch Fortnite in the background guys in a windowed mode. This is important because we actually need the Fortnite exit to be showcaseable in here. As mentioned guys just simply let it run in the background until we can find Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. This is exactly the one which is basically a Fortnite and what you guys want to do is first of all right click onto it and make sure to go under CPU priority then go under always and make sure to put it onto high guys. This is super important. Then next up right click onto it again then you can see CPU affinity and this one you're going to put on always and as well make sure that all of your cores are actually checked. Then next up for the power profile guys you're going to make sure that the bits and highest performance one is as well selected and then as well click real quick onto induce performance mode and then you're already good to go guys. Next up guys let's talk about the GR booster which you can by the way try out for absolutely free with the link in the description. This is the tool which I use every single time to get super low ping in all of my favorite games like Fortnite but it also works for Valorant, CS or whatever you guys want to play they literally get you covered and as mentioned you can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description and they even did a huge giveaway with me for five limited time codes guys with a free membership to their service so therefore type down below in the comments where you actually want to win this and definitely make sure to try it out yourself you can literally connect to whatever games you guys want to play let's just say that we select Fortnite and it's gonna automatically find the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of ping and the best part about it is it's even actively in the background still scanning for better DNS options so if for whatever reason maybe another DNS server is even better guys giving you less latency then it's gonna automatically switch you over without you guys even noticing so therefore definitely make sure to check it out then next up guys we're gonna hop real quick here into the Nvidia control panel 
channel, make sure to go under just image settings with preview and go here under use the advanced 3D image settings and click under take me there. And in here guys, you're gonna make sure to copy all of these settings for the best performance here in Fortnite chapter four, season four. As you can see, everything is fully tweaked here for the least amount of input delay and best performance. What's super important guys is that the low latency mode should be on enabled or ultra. You have to try out one of these here, but it's definitely gonna give you a lot less input delay. Then as well, something like power management mode should be on preferred maximum performance and your shader cache size on 10 gigs. Your preferred refresh rate should be on the highest available. Texture filtering quality should be on high performance and then you're already good to go guys. Besides that, make sure that you copy everything here, then you're gonna apply it and then we're gonna close the NVIDIA control panel and we're already done here as well.